Hi everyone, this is Marty with Pezza Doodle Designs, and I thought I would try my hand at doing a mixed media, mixed media video for you guys today. Once upon a time, I did videos constantly and did online classes, but it's been a while, so I thought I'd get back into the habit. They seem to be popular, so I thought, sure, I'll give it a shot. Today I'm going to create a mixed media piece that's going to go in my art journal. I do not work directly in my book because it makes me a nervous wreck and I worry about messing up the other pages and I feel like that's very unart journalistic of me because kind of the thing to do is to work in the books but I don't so I decided I just don't. So I've got a grouping of things here. I am Working with an idea in mind, the mixed media challenge today on Split Coast Stampers is static electricity, so that's what I am going for. So I have a collection of paints here. Show you my color scheme. I'm going greens and blues. I've been kind of stuck in this color scheme for a while, but I like it, so I'm just going to keep on going. And so what I have are some acrylic paints, just plain, regular, cheap acrylic paints. Um, sometimes the cheap ones can work for you. Sometimes they're not that great, but for this they're going to be fine. I also have Silk's Acrylic Glaze, which I love. It's very shimmery. It's by Color Art. And then this is something brand new from Color Art. Also deliciously shimmery and it's called Radiant Gels. And it is a thick, oops, a thick paste. So you can see it holds its shape. Very shimmery and luxurious. And I just got these in and haven't had a chance to play with them yet. So I'm excited to do that. So we'll see what those can do. I also have a brayer, some tissue paper, that glob off and a stamp and some sequin waste that I might use as a stencil or I might get a regular stencil. The tissue paper is going to create my static electricity portion of this. This is my focal image. I got it off of Dover Pictura which is um, Dover is the best resource for an unlimited supply of images of just about anything and you can now get them digitally which I love and this is a little quote I'm going to use it says let go of blaming anyone for anything be accountable for your own life and I just printed it off on my computer and this is my base so my journal is 8x8 eight eight. so I cut a piece of paper 8x8 eight eight, covered it with this um, old sheet of music from an old book that my stepdad gave me and then I'm gonna cut off the edges so that it cuts, I cut it down back to an 8x8 eight eight size and then we'll go from there. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just get some color down on my page. That's the first place to start. Whether you're using acrylic paint, uh, watercolor crayons, whatever, just start layering some color on your page. I do not have um, any sealer over this paper and sometimes I put sealer over it sometimes I don't it's it, there's no right or wrong your products will react differently if you have some sort of gel medium or decoupage over your paper than if you don't and today I just don't so just gonna squeeze a little paint right onto my craft mat if you don't have a craft mat, I highly recommend them. Roll the brayer in, get a little paint on it, and just start rolling it across your page. There's no real rhyme or reason as to how I'm putting it on there or where I'm putting it on there. I just want to start getting some color down. Now, an advantage of the cheap acrylic paints is they are really, really see-through. Sometimes that is not what you want. In this case, it's a good thing because then I can still see my music. So, 
Um, I'm not bothering to clean my brayer in between. You can if you want, but I'm not. So, I've got some color down on my page. So it's a good start. Now I am going to take some Caribbean Mist, which is the silks. Very shiny. And I'm just going to scrape some on here and there. Now Color Art Products, with their extreme amount of shimmer, can go a long way in small doses. So, I usually try to kind of do a little push and pull. A little bit of shimmer, a little bit of flat, a little bit of shimmer. So the acrylic is my flat, and I'm just using an old gift card. Or no, what is it? A Toys R Us card. And dipping it in, it fits nicely in my little pot. And then I'm just scraping some paint here and there. The thicker the paint, the more shimmer you'll see. And again, there's not really any rhyme or reason as to how or where or... Just scraping on some color. I'm not sure I've done anything that does not have some shimmer on it. I'm just kind of blingy. But this can work with just plain old paint too, obviously. Okay, we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to add a little bit of texture using my tissue paper next. I've got this decoupage glue. It's by DecoArt. Um, Mod Podge will also work. Gel medium. And I've got these bits of tissue paper that I've crumpled up. So I've just got some Mod Podge on my fingers or some decoupage glue on my fingers. And I want the tissue to have these wrinkles in it because that is going to provide my textural static electricity sort of a look. So I'm spreading it around on here. And I'm going to smush this in. Make sure it's glued down really well. With all of its glorious wrinkles. Smash them into the glue. Not covering the whole page, just spots here and there. Make sure all your edges are glued down and secured and then let that dry completely. Now I wouldn't recommend necessarily using a heat gun on this part because I don't know if it would make it bubble up. So I usually try not to use a heat gun and I let things just dry naturally. But you can see all the nice texture that I've gotten there. Okay, so I'm all dry. Your paper may warp a little. Don't worry about it. Just adds to the look. Now I want to add another little something, another layer to my background. So I have this background stamp and this archival ink. This is potting soil. And I like archival ink because then if I do other layers of stuff, on top of that, the archival ink is not going to run and bleed 
like dye ink because dye ink is water based. So I've put ink not on the whole stamp and I'm going to rub some of it off in spots and kind of lighten it up just to give it a little bit of a worn look and stamp it on in a few spots. Not covering the whole play the whole page again, just adding a bit here and there. And the more layers you have, the more interesting your overall page will be. Now, one of the things that I decided as I was looking at this is the areas where my tissue paper is, it's a little wider than I want it to be. I want to add a little bit more color back in. The nice thing about working with the color art line of products, you'll remember I used the silks and I kind of smudged it on here and there with the little Toys R Us gift card and I used a color called Caribbean Mist. I want to add a little more but I'm going to use a spray. I think I'm just going to spray it in a few spots. So I have Caribbean Mist again and this product is called Primary Elements and it is a powder, a very shimmery powder and I love this stuff because I can mix it into any sort of medium and make all different types of fun things to play with. So for now I'm going to make a mist and the way I'm going to do that is I've got this mini mister full of water it's up to about there. You want a little room to shake shake it around and mix it up and I'm just going to get this palette knife and I'm going to scoop a little bit of the primary elements powder in and then I'm going to put in a binding agent to make the color and the shimmer stick and what I use is gum arabic mine's in a powder form you can also find it in a liquid and that just helps everything stick and bind to your surface otherwise when it dries all of the shimmering mica will brush right off so then you just mix that up and now you have shimmering mist in the same color as before So I'm just going to spray it on and give my tissue paper a little more color. And again, I'm going to let that dry. And like I said, I used that archival ink. So that means that where I spray this water-based mist, my stamped image is not going to bleed and blur and that sort of thing. <laughs> 